Hello there, happy Wednesday evening. My name is Julie Hirschberg and joining you live tonight to talk about the subjective visual vertical test or the bucket test. And we're chatting about this because we have been talking about otolith function. And um, the otoliths are that cool part of our inner ear that tell our brain a little bit of where we are in space, in particular in response to acceleration. So um, one of those pieces is this tilting side to side um, and that forward motion, like you feel traveling in a car or train or plane and in up and down, like going in an elevator. And I don't know if you're like me, but I certainly have patients that describe difficulties um, with those types of movements. So accelerating in a car or stopping in a car or going up and down and in an elevator and feeling off or woozy or nauseous or disconnected to those um, or with those um, types of movements. And so that could be a problem with their otolith function. And one of the ways that we screen for it, especially when a person feels uh, like they're being kind of pulled in one direction or another, or they have a head tilt, that is the subjective visual vertical test or bucket test. Um, I love it because it's just a bucket and, um, and a way to measure. So I'm going to just demonstrate it with this lovely bucket. So you do need a translucent bucket. I actually first grabbed my metal bucket. I put my head in. I'm like, this isn't going to work because I'm not getting any light in there. So you have to have a bucket where you're getting some light in so that you can see the line. So I've got a line drawn down the center of the bucket. And that's our vertical line. That's what the person, when they're looking at it, they're going to um, judge when that line is vertical. So here's the test. Um, and here's how I do it, by the way. Um, I had to grab another phone here, grab my husband's phone um, so I can use the measure app. I, I know I've shown this before. I love it. It's on, on, um, on the iPhone, but I just put the iPhone, stick it to the back of the bucket, and then when I rotate the bucket, I can look at the degrees that I'm getting, and as I rotate the bucket back, I t ask the person to tell me when they feel that the line is vertical again. So as we're going back, and let's say, actually, the last person that I had, it was at 15 degrees. So they said here was vertical. And um, so they were 15 degrees off. And that is not normal. So typically, we want to see this within a, in a few degrees, usually one degree of neutral, to be honest. So you should try it on yourself. So what I do is get some of that sticky... Um, gum like you put posters up with and I put that on um, the back of the bucket so that I can measure that tilt. I put their head in the bucket and then we tilt it in either direction and then slowly bring the bucket back to center and we ask them to tell us when that line is vertical. When that when they say the line is vertical we take the reading. Now Hopefully, they're at about zero. Um, I am not at zero there, but they're at about zero. And that means that their perception of vertical is aligned with true vertical. If it's not, so if it's greater than um, a degree from neutral, then we know that their subjective visual vertical is skewed. So again, I've seen this in many, many different diagnoses. Um, but particularly, this is a test of vestibular function of our otolith function, which is a, a, a um, perception of that tilt motion. We'll see it then in a unilateral hypofunction so that they'll actually skew usually four to six degrees uh, in one direction. 
I also see this in some cases of cervical dystonia. So you can imagine that if your subjective vi visual vertical and your perception of um, what is vertical is skewed, that may cause abnormal muscle contractions and cause you to be tilted in one direction and can cause cervical dystonia. Um, I've also seen this impaired in some forms of Parkinson's disease. And then again, you can imagine that that would throw your balance off um, and your postural writing responses off. I've seen this impaired in functional movement disorders as well. So some of those things where that connectivity, um, the connections in the, in the brain are skewed and the otoliths are sensitive to this. On Friday, we're going to actually talk in our Facebook Live about otolith function and the autonomic nervous system and those vestibulo-sympathetic responses. And it turns out they're very sensitive. So in any of those disorders, uh, like functional movement disorders, like post-concussion symptoms, anything where the autonomic nervous system can be influencing it, we may find that our bucket tests is positive because of that autonomic influence on the otolith. So fascinating to me. So if you have somebody that is feeling motion sensitive, they feel like a magnet is pulling them in one direction, maybe they feel a little woozy, um, disconnected, disembodied, things like that. Maybe they have a head tilt, that would be the time to do the subjective visual vertical or the bucket test, um, which is simple with a bucket and a phone. That's all you need, super low cost, and you can measure it. And I will say this, it does get better with intervention. So I recent, recently had somebody um, who had that 15 degree tilt and it was with dystonia. And we worked on a lot of pieces of their midline control and their verticality and it improved. It improved to zero degrees. So that was pretty awesome. So uh, subjective visual vertical, one way to screen for otolithic function. Join us on Friday as we talk about the vestibulosympathetic responses with the otoliths and then join us next Friday, June 4th. I believe is the date. I've been getting my dates all wrong today. June 4th, we're doing a free webinar at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time on the Otolis. It's called the Otolis. Don't you forget about me. If you are a child of the 80s and the Breakfast Club and Simple Minds, you know that song uh, like I do. And um, we're talking about the Otolis and why this is such an important part of your screening of a not just vestibular function, but in many other disorders. So that's a free webinar. You can um, register. There's a link in our bio. Um, it's on our um, education site, reactiveeducation.com slash otolith and uh it's a free webinar for you come join us and learn on friday june 4th um, we'd love to have you and thanks so much for joining me today i will see you next week